e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. Before starting with today's 17 new campaigns, I'd like to talk about one tangentially related to miniatures, and that is Duncan Rhodes' new paint set. What I would like to address is the names of a few of them. Elfskin and Dwarfskin are okay names, but for people of color, they will have to move down and use Barbarian Brawn as their base color, or perhaps Boarhide and Fur Cloak. Using savage or animal-related names for darker skin tones is problematic, especially when those names don't even describe colors. Fur, boars, and leather aren't always brown, and brawn is strength. You made a million, Duncan, so do the right thing and rename those colors moving forward, or give us properly named color ramps for skin tones other than your own. Army Painter did it, why can't you? I'll thank you all in advance for the comments some of you are undoubtedly already furiously typing. The algorithm cares not from whence the engagement flows, only that it flows. Alright, on with the show. First up, Aliens vs. Humans. Printable Alien Nightmare by channel patron Papsikels and Wargname of France, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This is a collection of three of Papsikel's monthly Patreon releases, totaling 79 miniatures, vehicles, and terrain, including an infinitely variable modular building set. There are three videos on the page if you want to get a closer look at the minis. What I'm showing here is all the stretch goals, similar minis that weren't included in the Patreon releases. For Patreon patrons, you can get just the stretch goals. Otherwise, you can get the whole set with unlocked stretch goals, or for a little more, even the locked ones. This campaign ends on October 10th, with rewards expected the same month. Pulp War 35 Miniatures 135th Scale Resin Cast Minis by Kitbash Games of the United Kingdom their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes several minis in a bit of a retro-future aesthetic, with more in the stretch goals. You can get one or two minis, as well as add-ons. This campaign ends on September 19th, with rewards expected in February. Nemu, Waiting for Arthur, printable minis by Ogreg Miniatures of Sweden their second Kickstarter campaign. This is the Lady in the Lake and the Sword in the Stone awaiting Arthur's hand. Pay what you want for the minis, pay a little more for a commercial license. This campaign ends on September 21st with rewards expected in October. The Game of Destiny, printable dice towers by Sarli Factory of Spain their 16th Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 10 different dice towers slash terrain in an array of different styles and genres with more in the stretch goals. You can get the whole set and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on September 22nd with rewards expected in October. Mimic Sacks, Printable or Physical Terrain by Halen Terrain of the United Kingdom, their 23rd Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of sacks and sack mimics. It doesn't say if the resin minis are cast or printed. Digitally, you can get the whole set, or physically, you can get 9 mimics with 4 or 5 pieces of scenery. This campaign ends on September 26th, with rewards expected by November. Caves and Creeps, resin cast minis by Vilhel Miniatures of Norway, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of four cave folk. There's a witch, a wizard, a crestfallen knight, and a gnome knight on a cave beast. You can get any of them individually, all together, and you can also get one painted. This campaign ends on October 1st, with rewards expected in December with the painted ones in February. Dice Quest, The Lost Numbers, 
boxed game with resin cast minis by Euphoria Miniatures of Spain, their 8th Kickstarter campaign. This is a stylized RPG starter set for kids. There are 6 heroes, several enemies, and a bunch of terrain and cards. Just one tier gets you the whole set. This campaign ends on October 3rd, with rewards expected in December. Predatork Army. Printable Orcs by Standart Painting of France, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is an army of orcs in four tiers, with the first two mostly complete, the Ostrogorks and the Berserk Orcs. The other two are mounted on beasts and flyers. Each tier includes the lower ones, and a fifth includes a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 3rd, with rewards expected the same month. The Demi Demons, printable 75mm minis by Bella Noct Miniatures of New Zealand, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of six Demi Demons, with a couple more still in the works, and busts and more in the stretch goals. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 5th, with rewards expected the same month. The Solaran Dragoons, printable army of sci-fi soldiers by Quartermaster 3D of Canada, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is quite an expansive set of sci-fi troopers, divided into a few groups. The first are regular squads and come with the other two groups, the platoon group and the special operations group. You can get any of the three groups individually, and you can also get the whole set or a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 7th, with rewards expected in November. Puzzles and Props Printable Cosplay and Role-Playing Elements by The Printing Goes Ever On of Poland, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is quite an expansive set of all your favorite magic rings, wands, figurines, and so much more. There is a very long list of stretch goals, many of them are already unlocked. You can get the core set of 34, or the full set with stretch goals. This campaign ends on October 7th, with rewards expected in November. Tales of a Drunken Knight, printable or printed miniatures by Daniel Castro of Mexico, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 12 squads with exiled knights, Chaos Knights, Inquisitors, Adventurers, Orcs, and others, and even more in the stretch goals. Digitally, you can get the whole set, that plus stretch goals, or a commercial license. Physically, you can get the whole set, pre-printed, or even painted. This campaign ends on October 6th, with rewards expected in December. Theory Band Miniatures Printable or Printed Minis by Diego Martinez of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of nerds that seems to think they're superheroes. Hilarity ensues. Digitally, you can get the whole set, optionally pre-supported, as well as a commercial license. Physically, you can get the whole set with or without bases. This campaign ends on October 6th, with rewards expected in November. Diceheads Zuntalis, printable chibi minis and terrain, by Diceheads of the United Kingdom, their 18th Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 72 adventurers, mounted riders, monsters and villains, as well as 50 pieces of terrain. You can get the whole set or a commercial license, and you can also access rewards from their previous Kickstarter campaigns. This campaign ends on October 7th, with rewards expected in November. FX Master Collection, printable spell effects by Brian Neferate of Mexico, their 11th Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of more than 120 spell effects with description cards. 
you can get just 10 you like, or the whole set, and you can also pick up rewards from previous campaigns. This campaign ends on October 8th, with rewards expected the same month. The Watchtower, printable Gothic Inn by Old Guard Designs of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a five-story inn with playable interior and a couple of extra buildings to go with. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 12th, with rewards expected the same month. Steampunk Elf Base Set Printable bases by Torret William of France, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is so far three styles of decorated bases, with enough sizes to field an army, and two more styles in the stretch goals. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on October 12th, with rewards expected the same month. That's all for today. I'd like to give a huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. Your support really means a lot to me. Check back Saturdays for my Patreon preview videos, Tuesdays for more Kickstarter countdowns, and thanks for watching.